Honorable Yu Yidong, member of the National Assembly and co-chair of the National Assembly Forum on Climate Change, Honorable Kim Sang-hee, Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Excellency Han jong -e, Minister of Environment, Excellency Choi jong -moon, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the invitation to address the participants of this very important event ahead of the P4G Summit. I believe today will be instrumental for sharing ideas and insights for the urgently needed green in transformation. As you all know, I had the privilege of serving as the eighth Secretary General of the United Nations, which came on the heels of my career as a Korean diplomat for 37 years. And my tenure at the United Nations is often defined by the Paris Climate Agreement and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. So you may be able to imagine, as the President of the Assembly and Chair of the Council of the Global Green Growth Institute, today I am most pleased that GGGI has partnered with the National Assembly, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Ministry of Environment of my home country to provide this precious venue for discussions. Therefore, although I am unable to join this event in person, I'd like to extend my deep appreciation to all the organizers and to all the participants for joining us today, whether in person or virtually. Allow me to take a moment and share just a couple of points. Over the last year and four or five months, the entire global community was reminded of just how vulnerable we really are. The enormous cost in lives, the huge loss in incomes and revenues, the travel restrictions, the complete lockdowns, and social distancing measures, and the evidence of mental and psychological strains showing up in the form of random violence, increased suicide rates, and much more. They all demonstrated seemingly overnight that we human beings are not as invincible as we sometimes like to think of ourselves. And let us make no mistake about it. There is certainly a correlation between the climate change phenomena and the COVID-19 pandemic. But as many parts of the world are finally emerging, we're starting to see the end of pandemic on the horizon, allow me to remind us all, there is no vaccine for the climate crisis we have created. Perhaps one of the greatest weaknesses of humankind is that our memories are at times too short. I hope all of us lawmakers, diplomats, environment experts, corporate leaders, and private citizens can work together, make sure that we do not go back to business as usual. As the world plans to come out of the unprecedented challenges of the pandemic, we must do what is necessary to green our recovery efforts and build back better. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, if we as a global community fail to seize this opportunity now, if we succumb to our short-term memory and forget about the important wake-up call this time, or if we give in to the temptation to take the easier and more familiar path of continuing as before, I dare say that our failure to learn from our mistakes and take corrective actions to prevent future repeats, that will be a far worse tragedy 
than the pandemic itself. For too long, we have ignored the warning signs that our planet has been flashing at us. Let us heed the warnings and work together so we can leave a world to our future generations that is inhabitable and enjoyable, not a world that resembles those dark apocalyptic science fiction movies. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your participation and I wish you all a very green and successful event. Thank you. Kamsamdang.